So, sodium gates, open wide up, potassium starting to open. What does threshold mean? What happens at threshold? What's the importance of that? A threshold? Mm -hmm. Well, what I remember about threshold is, isn't it when it, it's either all or nothing? Or is that the action potential? When it hits there, like it either happens or doesn't happen. It either has Correct. enough energy to do it or not. So threshold is the point at which an action potential is either going to happen. So if it hits threshold, an action potential will happen. If it doesn't hit threshold, an action potential will not happen. So during this time, more and more sodium gates are opening, but at this point, threshold is when it's kind of like a string of dominoes. It's when all the dominoes will go. So once it hits this point, that means all of the sodium channels are going to be flying open. Open, 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 and then they're all, they all flew wide open. What happens at the top? The um, bottom gate, I can't remember what it's called, closes on the sodium channel. The inhibitory gate closes, and the potassium gate starts to close, but it's a tortoise, so it takes a while. It finally is all the way open at this yeah. point, though. So you get your potassium flowing in. And real quick, just clarification, this is the inactivation gate. In so, activation. Inactivation. so the activation gate is the first thing that opened, and the inactivation gate closes. Which stops the um, action potential from going backwards and neurons. Why did I do that? That was weird. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're alright? So then the potassium goes straight down. So, so why is this going now? What does that mean? Hold on, if that was depolarization, uh -huh. is that repolarization? So, yeah, it's repolarization. At this point, it's repolarization. Oh, yeah. okay. And then down there, it's hyper. 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 Because uh -huh. polar is about a difference, like polar opposites. Mm -hmm. So it's becoming, so depolarization, you're taking away the difference between the inside and outside the cell. Okay. Repolarization, you're getting it back to where it was, and hyperpolarization, you're making it more different. Just a little more pronounced. Okay. So that means that what's happening, so what's happening to the charge? If it's coming. Well, it's repolarizing, what's happening to the charge? Of the inside of the cell. Is it more negative? Uh huh. It's becoming more negative. Why is it becoming more negative? Because you're going back to the negative side of it. Yes, right. but <laughs> but what what ions are going where that's making it more negative? Potassium is going in or something. Potassium is leaving the cell because potassium is positive. So if it's leaving the cell, that's making the cell more negative. More negative. get your positives to leave, the cell is going to become more negative. So in the depolarization, the sodium is... Where is sodium high? In concentration. Outside. So it's high in concentration outside the cell. So when sodium gates open, where is it going to want to flow? Inside. Inside. So the cell becomes more positive. Whereas, then potassium opens, potassium is going to flow out of the cell, making it more negative. That makes a lot more sense, thank you. <laughs> okay. Then, what happens down here? I'll just go to the parts you need to know. What happens, um, that, yeah, what happens down here? So, hyperpolarization, correct? Mm -hmm. And then what stops that hyperpolarization? The potassium gate closes finally. So, potassium.
potassium gate closes. Okay. And by this point, sodium has reset. The potassium closes. So you don't have potassium flowing out of the cell anymore. Because the potassium flowing outwards is what was making it more negative. So it's absolute refractory period and what is it? relative relative refractory period. Okay, and we'll hit that in like Sorry. ten seconds. No, you're totally fine. I'm just saying it for her sake, we'll hit that in yeah. ten seconds. Sorry, it's just I want to make sure a couple yeah, times, right? That is perfectly fine. Okay. So why would it go back to normal? What do you think? Why? Yeah. Isn't it always trying to reset itself? Kind of. But yeah, you're right, but how? It's starting the process over again, it's getting that energy. Well, well for example, okay, let's let's follow sodium. Okay. Sodium start is high outside the cell, right? Then what happens? goes inside the cell. So, sodium gets open, sodium goes inside the cell. What happened up here? The gate closed and the other one was fully open, so, so it went outside. So what went out? The potassium. Potassium went out. Okay. And until here, then it stopped. Okay, now we got a bunch of potassium out here and a bunch of sodium in here. How are we going to reset that? Doesn't it just want to start again? Because well, potassium wants to. But then you'd be inside. opening and just getting more sodium and more potassium out. That's true. You I get don't your potassium have, in. How does it reset? What pump have you talked about? The ATP. The yes. Sodium potassium pump. Sodium potassium pump. What does it pump in and out? Sodium and potassium. Um, what so about? sodium oh, is what pumped about? in or out. So sodium is pumped into or out of the cell? Is it into the cell because it's going out of the cell? I guess. So, sorry, I don't know if I phrased that well. So, where, so what the pump does is it changes the gradient from what it's normally at mm -hmm. and makes it so that one is higher than the other. So if you're looking at that, where is the sodium the highest? In the cell. Outside, yeah. yeah outside mm -hmm. the cell. In a normal situation, sodium is high outside the cell. Right. So the sodium potassium pumps sodium outside of the cell. That's why you have a high concentration of sodium out there. Okay. So it's more of why is there a lot of sodium outside of the cell? Because of the sodium potassium pump. Why is there a lot of potassium inside the cell? Because of the sodium potassium pump. It's going to be 3 Na out for the 2 potassium. So this is responsible for maintaining the concentration gradients. That's why it takes ATP, because it's pumping sodium out when there's already a bunch of sodium out there. There's a bunch of sodium out, but we're just going to keep pumping it out. So that takes energy, because it's not wanting to have the water flow down the stream, if you will, but trying to make it flow up the stream. So that takes energy. So it resets because of the sodium potassium pump and also potassium leak channels do take 